Some days the boat doesn't rock and waves don't crash and clouds don't gather and the wind doesn't blow. On the last possible morning, Mount Norman awakes in glory. 4,000 feet of ice glittering in the bright sunshine. After the wind finally subsided to the point where we actually felt comfortable climbing, we went up Mount Norman, which is on the very, very southern end of the Isle of South Georgia. It was one of the most crevasse riddled peaks I have ever gone up. start should mean stable snow, but 4,000 feet is still a long way to climb, and with no established route to follow, our line to the summit will be anything but straight. and try and climb a peak that uh, no one says, oh, this is the route, this is the way you get up. We're coming up and we find a dead end, so we turn around and find another way. And we go up and get dead ended and turn around and it's, it's great, it's really fun. It's a good way to climb a mountain. <laughs> seek that point when they stand above the clouds, a place where all that rises above them is sky. We journey to the Isle of South Georgia in the hope of standing atop its highest peaks. After a month of battling the wind and the waves, the glaciers and the sea, at last, on the last day, all of the island seems to lie at our feet. There are higher mountain tops, and perhaps one day we'll return to climb them. But when the Isle of South Georgia opens a window, the wise will scramble to take in the view and hurry home before the island changes its mind. Mm -hmm. 